Hey, no matter where, where the nigga at, at, you know what I'm saying? Around this globe, hey, black people, you gotta know. This evil beast, you know, who run this world, they wanna keep a nigga disenfranchised. Make sure black people don't rise, you know what I'm saying? Open up your eyes, you see? They call us niggas, and we niggas, and the motherfuckers who rule this world are bitch niggas. We living in a world that's controlled by some bitch ass niggas. You feel me? I'm soldier, motherfucker. See, ay, I'm the ghetto revelator. You see what I'm saying? Ay, I speak the motherfucker, shoot the motherfucker, pop. You feel me? I am soldier, motherfucker. See? You feel me? Boy, boy, ghetto black, trapped in this bitch niggas world Ran by some evil ass bastards, fucking tyrants My black mama call me brown like determination Be my mental, physical, assimilation With so much aspiration to free my black nation But bitch niggas be ruled by the world of Satan In this bitch niggas world Why I gotta stay black with a fucking double world shoddy The Illuminati, it's the fucking format Shoot back at the opposition for my liberation And that's my ultimate mission Hell no, I ain't no Christian Give up my enemies, you should destroy me Cause I was born to be, to reject and see Evil continue to succeed through technology Psychopath, psychology, need a methodology Pathologically, the enemy hate it Cause I was born black, melanated In this bitch nigga's world, where I gotta stay strapped With a fucking double girl shoddy I'm ready to body anybody In this bitch nigga's world, where I gotta stay strapped With a fucking double girl shoddy Ready to body anybody In this bitch nigga's world was reminded by the people who pay her that now's the time for her to come out and say terrible things against black people. And that's exactly what she did. Aaron to me that there was a reason that they were not producing the police footage because they wanted to make sure that the lie was perpetuated around the world and repeated over and over again before the truth could get up from bed and put its shoes on. And here is the truth. Here is the person whose life and whose name is okay. now synonymous with justice, Nancy Pelosi. George Floyd has a rap sheet, and I'm going to remind you guys of it again today. He was arrested for delivery of a controlled substance. He was arrested and put into jail. He was arrested for theft. He was arrested for theft again. He spent 10 months and 10 days in jail. He was arrested for failure to identify. He spent... White people don't know being black. When you hear that term racist... You know, the point of the white person, that's why I can't, that's why I'm seeing like, that's why my credit is messed up. The reason why I robbed that guy is because the white man would give me a job. I had to rob that white person. You know? And a lot of white people don't know being black, when you hear that term racist or white supremacist, that's a very popular word. It puts a lot of black people in a trance, they stop thinking. And Democrats know that's such a popular word. If they can keep black people upset and not thinking, all you have to use is to say he's racist, he's a white supremacist. I mean, I try to tell black folks, yeah. look man, we all afraid to eat. You know what they call us? A damn sire. <laughs> I'm Uncle Tom. Yeah, Negroes, they're right with you. Y'all, but you shouldn't even subscribe to this idea that y'all, y'all, y'all are not black. You can't tell them what them people are. These Negroes. Tell them what them people white. Her eyebrows are blonde. So, I got, I got, I got blonde hair on my legs. Peach fuzz? No, that's, that's her. I ain't peach fuzz. Well, I got blonde hair on my nuts. It don't mean I'm not black. It means you part white. I mean, you part. Man, why you take things too far? Why you talking about the hair on your nuts? I got red hair on my nuts, too. I like a calico cat. <laughs> no, but I don't, I, I think it's unfair um, to the actual I, Negroes to be, um, because look at the uh, pushback we get when we say we're black. Some black people say, y'all ain't black, y'all well, you know, hey, I'm gonna tell the producer, pull up some black people in Africa. Type in real black person from Africa. You forget what black people actually look like. Yeah, I think you forgot. No, we, you think we black? Nah, yeah, African. African. Yeah, I, but we're black. We're actually black. We got more black I am not no Negro. <laughs> Joe, why you keep playing, man? No, them niggas ain't dark enough. That is Nigerian. You act like all black people like smut face black. Smut? There you go. Look, bottom right hand corner. That's a black person. See that person right down there? What's the hell? It's unfortunate that the white people are allowing these blacks to enslave them in their own country. Okay, America well, what was founded, built by white people, right. and now the radical blacks are enslaving them in their own country. I've been on Earth 72 years now, and over right. the last 60 years or so, right. black people have gotten worse. They're followers and not leaders. They're beggars and takers and not workers and givers. And so I see them in action, and I also see how they're being pulled by the so-called upper blacks and the government and stuff. They're just... But I want my reparations. Man. I want my reparations now. 
It's 2019 and we talk about weapon weight. <laughs> weapon weight? <laughs> you sound like a slang. <laughs> so, it's 2019, so, and I want my weapon weights. <laughs> I got these real bad, so. <laughs> I'm struggling, so. Hey, hey, black people. So y'all pretty much telling America, you want reparations because you're black. To Chief Warner Musker, that's who I'm related to, uh, on my father's side, and of course they will be considered now Cherokee, East, Eastern Band, or East Band Cherokee. They will be considered now Cherokee, East, Eastern. They will be considered now Cherokee, East, Eastern Band, or East Band Cherokee. And to keep in mind, I'm not down five channels already. They gone. Now I got YouTube on speed dial. Play with me. I got my attorneys on deck. Play with me. Um, I know who my family. Are. Uh, I mean, all the way back to Chief Warner Musker, that's who I'm related to. Uh, on my father's side, and of course they will be considered now Cherokee, East, Eastern Band, or East Band Cherokee. They will be considered now Cherokee, East, Eastern. They will be considered now Cherokee, East, Eastern Band, or East Band Cherokee. Every summer at Tahlequah, Oklahoma, the Cherokee Indians sponsor their Trail of Tears pageant, the story of how the U.S. government robbed the so-called five civilized tribes of their homelands in the South and moved them by force to Oklahoma. They don't tell about the thousands of blacks the tribes brought with them, their slaves. My mammy and pappy belonged to a part Cherokee named W.P. Thompson. Belonged to a part Cherokee named W.P. Thompson. A lot of white people don't know being black when you hear that term racist. He's up, the point of the white person, that's why I keep, that's why I'm saying like, that's why my credit is messed up. The reason why I robbed that guy because the white man won't give me a job. I had to rob that guy. You know? It's unfortunate that the white people are allowing these blacks to enslave them in their own country. Okay, America well, what would you was say? founded, built by white people. Yes, black family, you've seen the videos. You know who these people are. They are the step and fetches. They here to cause chaos, confusion, division. These people have a platform. This is why you see these particular people being able to get away with disrespecting the black family and YouTube gives them a platform. But I made a video two and three years ago, and they keep attacking my channel. I get new subscribers. I get up the next day, those subscribers disappear. I made a video called Christianity Stolen from African Spirituality. Soon as that video went viral and it did numbers with 48 likes right off the top, YouTube put a monkey wrench off into my channel. They struck me for, put a strike against me for a channel, for a video I made two, three years ago. The video that I released on Anthony Fauci. Soon as that video went viral, they cut that down. Who's trying to stop my monetary game? They know I'm trying to have another income, an income from this channel. They see I'm a struggling brother. They see that I don't have studio work. So they don't even want to see me come up. Is YouTube, Black Family, is it ran by a secret society with a agenda to push anti-Black African sentiments? How is it that Jesse Lee Peters platform, Fallen State, is relevant to the rise of black people? You seen the video. You seen the video. This guy is dumber than a box of rocks. He's not speaking in behalf of black people. This guy says that black people are stupid. You too. Doesn't strike him for saying that we are stupid and whites are smarter than us. Jesse Lee Peters is a black man allowed to have a platform, a conservative black man who's lost his mind, who have a fried Frankenstein like artificial mind. This is a real Negro. This is a real step and fetch it. There's other words I could say, but they might strike me what this guy is. You know that animal that gets into your attic that want to take over? 
the particular rodent. This is what Jesse Lee Peters is. He's that rodent that wants to live up in your attic and don't want to leave. You feel what I'm saying? So is YouTube ran by a secret society with an agenda to push anti-African? How is it Jesse Lee Peters' platform for the state is relevant for black people when he's allowed to spew self-hate? He can spew self-hate towards black people and is very juvenile and sardonic of YouTube to allow a conservative twin you seen the conservative twins, two black men who are allowed to laugh at the diaspora. Black people who went through the, the, the diaspora, our ancestors. See, me, myself, when you talk about the ancestors and what they went through, hey, I don't know about you people. I do not feel that as a something that I could just Shake. When I hear about the stories, you know what I'm saying? I'm mad. I'm angry at what white people did to our people and made us subjects today where we don't even know ourselves. But the white men will pay us money. YouTube will allow this to go and nobody's uh, tuning into my channel. Nobody's liking my channel. Every time I start to excel, Somehow they throw a monkey wrench in the game. Then they got people who troll me, who hating, who report the channel. How is conservative twins allowed to laugh at slavery and YouTube don't strike them? I don't find it. I find it quite funny that no one strikes their channel. No one um follows their channel and strike them for laughing at our ancestors, what our ancestors been through. Some people think it's funny. It's not funny to me. You know, as long as we uh, we can spew self-hate, the algorithm will work for the cause of destroying black people who speak unity among our race. How is it that YouTube purposely sanctioned my channel for videos I did years ago? How is it that I wake up with subscribers, go to bed, wake, the, wake up the next day, the subscribers are gone? Do I got to pay money into the system? To get views, shares, likes, subscribers. Because someone is hating on me. Even silly niggas, Negroes. Let me quit saying nigga on here. Silly Negroes like Charleston White go viral for giving false information. Misleading, guiding information. Here's a guy who is allowed to go viral calling Nipsey Hussle, may rip Nip, Nipsey Hussle, rest in peace, rest in power Nipsey Hussle. I think he was taken out because he was more lyrically inclined. I think they murdered Nipsey. If Nipsey would have stayed underground selling his music underground, he'll still be alive today. Soon as you rub shoulders with those people, and they know Nipsey Hussle had that unity mindset, they had to kill that. That's what happened. He tried to unite the games. One game. Educate them. They took that brother out. And he was going to do a documentary on Dr. CB, how they killed Dr. CB in Honduras. Oh, they had to stop that. But Again, Charleston White, Kansas Owens, Jesse Lee Peterson, the conservative twins, uh, Senator Ben Carson, Herschel Walker, uh, Democrats, Republicans that are black, they don't speak for us. Because if they speak for us, 
we'll see and hear more dialogue on correcting some of the things that we need to correct in this country for black people. You see what I'm saying? So since I speak in behalf of black people, I don't have no sponsors. I'm not backed by no entity like the Breakfast Club or nothing like that. Nothing backs me. I don't have a fancy studio. I'm just getting on here spitting the facts. And I know it's a conspiracy against me. When you got people like Dane Calloway, anything that's anti-African, anti-black, anti-unity, anti-pan-African, it will not go viral. You can go viral spitting religion. You can spit crip blood, anything negative against black people. What I mean by crip and blood, they want that confusion. They want to see our little young kids turning to gangbangers and homosexuality. How is it that homosexuality can be pushed and promoted, but my channel is demoted? Scared to see me rotate. So since I speak for black people and I don't have a sponsor and I'm not backed by nothing but the ancestors, People hate me. And I do believe there's some haters purposely reporting my videos to stop me from obtaining an income. They see I'm a struggling black man. My studio is not a studio. I'm not up to par with the cameras or nothing, as you can see. So they don't want to see me in that position. I know what's going on. This is what they do. Anytime the white man, the European, I know this is mostly coming from the powers, the algorithm of white supremacy against me. Because this is the first thing that the European Caucasian do when it's in power. When they want to neutralize a black man or anybody going against the United States or going against the norm of white supremacy, they neutralize you by freezing your account. They make sure you don't have no monies. So we go into digital ID sometime in the future. So when any particular black person rebels against imperialism, rebel against racism, they can neutralize you by taking your funds this is why digital ID, digital currency is very, very dangerous for the revolutionary or anyone who has a voice to speak out against what's wrong. But if you could say everything was wrong for black people, what I mean by that, they're going to get at you. They're going to try to stop you. But if you can speak against black people, you may have a little niche you can cut out for yourself. Some money you can cut out for yourself. That's big money. I just can't do that. If you really want to make money, there's two things you can do. You can grab your church. You can get your platform, become a black conservative. White people will support any black person that pose as a black conservative and hate his own race. White people will sponsor you. That's true facts. Hey, this is Underground Warrior TV. I'm gone.